Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the ultimate plane guide for scum from the 0.7 update. Now, guys, because, before you click off this video, I've already shown you the basics of flying a plane, you know, how to lift off and all those other things. Today, I'm going to show you things that you've never seen on YouTube with a plane that can be done with a plane. So stay tuned because I'm, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you some insane tricks that you can do with a plane okay but before i show you what you can do with the plane i have to show you how to get the plane first okay now at the end blue is going to join me to show you guys some insane tricks but i thought for this part it's better if i show you my uh, perspective of it okay so that you guys can actively see what the person does that flies the plane away and what the person does that distracts the megs, okay? So first of all, let's look at the guy that needs to fly the plane away. Now, first of all, there's three plane spawns at the moment. On official servers, there's only two planes that spawn, but there are three spawn points. The first spawn point is here in D4 by the military airfield in the hangar, and the other two spawn points are by the normal airfield in these two hangars, okay? Those are the only spawn points at the moment, and then if you want to refuel the planes, you just land on the airfield gear at A4. You just land on the airfield, okay? Um, just on the gravel road, you can refuel it. Or you land on this airfield right here, and you can refuel it right there, okay? And this is where you get a lot of parachutes and um, clothing for the pilot and then plane repair kits, okay? So let's get to how to fly the plane and how to get it out of here. First of all, you don't, the guy who flies the plane doesn't need anything except the jerry can, okay? Now, uh, duster has spawned for us here, so I have never tried this with a duster, but I know with the Kingslet, you can just go full speed ahead and go straight up, okay? I don't think you can do it with a duster, but we are going to try. If you don't want to take any risk, Basically, I'm going to show you guys how I pull both megs in this direction, okay? So what you want to do is click your mouse wheel forward three times to drive the plane and then steer it with Q and E, okay? And then steer it this way and then go full speed up here and fly away, okay? But first of all, only thing you need is a gas canister with fuel in, okay? So you come to the plane... You fill the plane with fuel. Your friend is shooting both megs, okay, to distract them. So because when the megs walk through the the hangar, then they destroy the planes, okay? You can do this solo, but it takes a lot of speed and a lot of precision, okay, and a lot of knowledge of you. Once you fly a plane constantly and land it constantly and figure out the different speeds and how to control the plane with the mouse scroll wheel, and remember that in my first video, I told you that it has five gears, okay? When you mouse scroll wheel, um, when you scroll the mouse wheel forward once, it's going to start the propeller. If you mouse scroll wheel the, for the mouse wheel again, it's going to start moving forwards. It's like a walk speed. Mouse scroll wheel forward again is going to be like a jog speed. Mouse scroll wheel forward again is going to be like run. And then it's going to be top speed of the plane. And then you basically want to... Wanna, um, want to lift off okay so you want to get into the back because this is where the cockpit is the front entrance is just for your friend to sit and shoot people or just fly with you so all you're going to do is you're going to get into the plane okay all you need is the is the gas okay and the other thing is at, when you find the plane it's going to be very very low health that's why you would rather want the friend to distract the megs, because if a meg shoots this thing once, it's basically going to explode. If you bump this plane once, it's going to explode. So if you're not familiar with landing yet, because you still have to land this plane, guys, at the airfield down in the you know in Z Z zero and A four. So if you if you if you think you are not that good with landing, then getting the uh, plane repair kit and re and repairing the plane before you take off is a good idea. But, you know, for now, we're just going to look at how to get the plane out of here. So you get in, okay, and you mouse scroll wheel three times. Like when you run, okay, when you walk and run in scum, you have to click the mouse scroll wheel forward. We're going to click the mouse scroll wheel forward three times, and then we're going to control the plane with Q and E to steer it like a vehicle, okay? So one puts the plane on, 
two, gets it to go forward, three, lets it, do, lets it go forward faster. And now we're using um, Q and E to steer the plane, okay? Until we've got a straight line and then we mouse scroll wheel forward five times. And then we hold in S because S is to move up, okay? And then we just, then we just steer the plane up. Okay? And like I say, the Duster is one of the most difficult planes to steer, but you can still do it, okay? So the Duster isn't very fast, but again, we can scroll down, and we can scroll down again to lower the speed, okay? So now it's not that loud. We can still fly, okay? It's going to control the speed for you automatically, okay? Automatically. And now all we can do is we can land. So let's just, let's just find a spot to land. Okay, there's a lot of rocks here. So I'm just gonna show you how to land because um, at the airfield, you know, there is place like this. But you wanna fly slow when you come and land the plane. Okay, and then you want to mouse scroll wheel down all the way to cut your engine, okay? Because now you're going to land. Just hold your, hold your, hold your forward and don't get it, don't, don't drive into a vehicle. <laughs> okay, but that was a smooth landing. Now let's look at the, the other two. So that one with the dust that you're definitely not going to be able to just boost, you know, go full speed ahead and get up that mountain. No way. And so, and because your friend is extracting both megs, I think it's better for you to turn left. I turned right there and you guys probably panicked that I was going to hit the wall. So if you're not very experienced with flying, maybe don't go towards the wall go away from the wall, then you've got a much better run up, but you are going to then be detected by the other mix. Okay. So let's look at the other two. Okay, guys, here we are at the second hangar. Okay. The second point where a plane can spawn in the um, normal airfield. Okay. On this side. And uh, this is luckily a king, a king's lit. So this one is nice and fast. And this one is just plain and simple, straightforward. Okay. You're going to go, you're going to click your mouse scroll wheel forward three times, steer, and then as soon as you're on this clear, you're going to go, okay? So we're just going to fill it with fuel. To about 25%, because we're going to land right afterwards. Let's make it 30%. Okay, now we can't, we can put the fuel inside, okay? And then we... Get into the plane. Again, one, two, three. Steer this way. As soon as you're in the clear, all the way, hold in S. And see how fast you lift off with the Kingslet. Okay? Kingslet is much, much, much better. And I don't have a... I don't have an aviation skill, guys. I've got no aviation skill. Okay, so you can do this. With, you can do this without an aviation skill. And now, again, we're going to decrease our speed. Okay, with two, I'm going to I can scroll backwards twice. And now I'm just going to land here. Because I'm away from the megs now, okay? So I'm safe. I'm just gonna land here. And then I'm gonna hold in space bar and turn. Hold in space bar and turn, guys, with the Q, okay? And there we go. Then we're gonna get out. Okay, remember Q and E, guys. You don't steer the plane on the ground with WASD. You steer the plane on the ground with Q and E, okay? Now we can go into the plane. Okay, because we won't make it. Now we take the gasoline canister out, and now we make sure we put all the rest of the fuel in. Okay, so there we go. We get in. Now we will be able to make it to one of those two airfields. Okay, but look how fast this plane go, lifts up now. So I'm going to mouse scroll wheel forward all the way, five clicks, and then I'm just going to hold in this. 
and then we're in the air. Okay, so with the king's lead, you'll definitely be able to, if the king's lead is at the D4, if the king's lead is at the D4 castle, guys, you can, um, and I'm not, I'm not increasing the engine. This is cruise control at the moment, okay? So if the king's lead is um, at the D4 military airfield, you'll be able to do that, let's go, you know, straight up. Just forward and get out of there really, really fast. Okay, now I'm going to increase the speed. Things that reaches about 250 kilometers per hour. If it's flying straight. And now, you know, I just want to, I want to land somewhere. Like I can land now, but let's say I'm like, you know, I don't want to protect the plane. Yeah, I, you know, I don't like the plane, but there's a cargo drop. I want to get to the cargo drop really, really fast. Okay, so let's say the castle is the cargo drop. Okay, so now we just fly over the cargo drop. And if a friend's with us, then we jump out and our friend flies away. Or we're going to land in the middle of the castle. Okay, in the middle. So here we go, we're just going to wait until we're over the castle, we press F to climb out. There we go, we mouse draw wheel forward, okay, just that we're skydiving like this. And we can control ourselves in the air a little bit. See I'm going backwards now in the air, now I'm going forwards in the air. And as soon as I feel I'm close enough to the ground, I'm going to open my parachute. Okay, and then I'm going to control myself to land right on the cargo drop. Let's say this right here is the cargo drop. Okay. Luckily, we haven't got any strong wind. And I landed right on the cargo drop. Okay, so you must just remember the plane has got a heck of a lot of uses. Okay. And then the third one is basically the same, guys. The, the you know, I'm not going to show you the third angle. The third angle is exactly the same. You know how to steer the plane. You know how to get away. Now I'm going to activate the Megs and show you the other your friends' um, perspective. Remember, if you're really good with flying, then you can do this alone. Okay, you can just time the Megs route and then. Pop the gears like we pop the gears there with the Kingslet. Okay, if you have to, if you have to steal a duster, it's definitely going to be a little bit more difficult. Okay, but let's just look at the other perspective. That's why I haven't got blue with me at the moment. I want to show you guys what each person must do. You know, from their perspective. So let's go look at that. Okay, guys, we're back at the D4 Castle. The Meg has already destroyed the plane by just walking through, okay? Meg hasn't seen me or anything. That's why I say your timing has to be perfect with this. Now, you can go far away, okay? You can go far away and distract them like that, or you can just do this. So your friend just needs a pistol, okay? And then you can shoot that Meg. Okay, you can keep that one distracted because that one can't shoot you through it. And then he can distract that one as well. Okay, so the mates can't shoot you through this. So you can just keep him distracted all the time. But you're gonna have to wait until you see both mates because the other mates on that path right there. You see, but th this this is this is dangerous. Okay, because the mate can still look that way, and that's why Blue doesn't like this method. Okay, because if they have to have line of sight of you to keep them aggroed. Okay, you have to keep them aggroed. Now, I just want to see where that one is. Okay, so we have to distract both here. Now, one method is one of your friends distracts that one as that one, as that one over there, 
gets to the end of his route, then your fr- one of your friends distracts him there so that he stays where he is. And then this one, one of your friends can distract him there by that little World War II bunker there so that this Meg... So that that Meg does not walk through the hangar, okay? So that he doesn't walk through the hangar. You don't want this Meg to walk through the hangar and destroy the plane, so you want to distract him that way. Okay, so this is one method of distracting both of them. But it's a bit risky, yeah? Definitely a bit risky. The thing is, they can't really get here. You know, you can dodge them like this. But it's just... No, guys, I'm not crazy about this idea. Okay? Not crazy about this idea at all. But at least they can't see your friend anymore. You know? They can't see your friend anymore. And now they're just stuck in... They're just stuck here with one another. And your friend has time to fly away. Okay, so this little rock here works really, really well. And I thought about this right here, which isn't a bad idea. Okay, it's not a bad idea. Uh, But it's going to take some skill to pull it off. And what I mean is not using this. I'm saying using that little space in there. But that may there is probably going to see you. Yeah, yeah, that make there is gonna see you. But I mean, there's a lot of hiding here. Okay. And the big thing is you want to distract both of those mechs. But again, you know, if it's only you, then it's bad. Then it's bad. Okay. So let's see what a solo player can do. I hope you guys understand the concept. That's all I want. I just want you guys to understand the concept. Now that man is going to walk around now. And then he he usually destroys the plane. So if you can wait for that man to turn his back. Okay. If you can get the timing right. Okay. For this me to turn around, but then your friend is going to be in a major rush. That's the big thing. So your friend can time the one meg, and then you can distract this one. Let's see how far you can distract them this way. Come here, okay. The friend needs at least three magazines. So you need both megs here. You need both of them to look at you. Okay, he's breathing. We don't want them to we don't want these guys to turn around, so we're just gonna shoot them in their feet. I don't want them to go to my friend. Okay? But move back like I moved back in the bush, otherwise they're gonna kick you or step on you and then you're dead. Okay. Let's see if we can get them just as they want to turn around. Okay, so they're going to turn around when they when they keep quiet. Let's see. Maybe they. Yeah, as soon as they move, as soon as they move, you're going to have to shoot, guys. But there's quite a long space. You don't have to waste your bullets constantly. Okay, so that's definitely one method. 
I can keep both of them distracted and I want to keep both of them out of the hangar so that my, because my friend needs time to escape, okay? So that isn't too bad. And of course, the less gear you have on, guys, the less noise you make, okay? That's going to help you heck of a lot. So let's just go to the other point here quickly without wasting any time. Okay, let's finish this off really, really quickly. So I'm going to teleport to there. And this one, this one is extremely easy. This one is extremely easy. Definitely the easiest. Like we, we lift it off very, very easily there. Okay. From this hangar at the normal airfield. And we can distract the meg here. Extremely easy because it's basically just one meg that your friend really, really needs to fear. So again, Blue's favorite method is far away, like on the other side. I think I showed you guys that in the previous video. I'm not sure, but um, Blue's favorite method is to go to the entrance, behind the gate at the entrance. Let him see, let this meg see you. Let him walk all the way there to the entrance, okay? And go stand against the gate there. And then, you know, your friend's got the world's time to... Um, to fly the plane, you know, but me guys, I'm, I'll just use the advantages, okay, that the plane gives me, so right there, okay, so I'll just, okay, and then I'm just going to stand right here, so my friend's at the plane now, I tell him, I've got the, I've got the Meg's attention, okay, yeah, sometimes you're going to get shot, okay, it doesn't matter, you can bring bandages or whatever, Okay, he did shoot us really, really, really bad, but that's fine. We can just keep shooting him. Seems like Blue's method is working a little bit better. <laughs> okay. Let's just get Phoenix Tears here. Let me show you guys um, Blue's method. We still got to get to the awesome tricks, guys. Still gonna get to the awesome tricks. I must say, Blue's method is definitely a little bit safer because I'm pulling him very, very far away. Okay, very, very far away. And I can use the tree so that he never shoots me. I'm going to stand here at the tree. So now my friend's got a heck of a lot of time, you know? A heck of a lot of time. I don't know what the hell he's doing. But in any case, normally he just comes and stands in front of this gate, guys. You know? And then everything, everything is fine. So that's how we get the planes. And that's how we distract the planes. Okay? Getting them is very easy. And um, the guy that, that distracts them, if he does this, it's very easy. If he distracts the makes on the other side, it's very easy. It's just the D41 where you have to distract both of them, okay? So either you, distra you just distract one and your friend has to be quite fast or you distract two and you take the risk of a me kicking you or stepping on you. But that's why I say do not take a lot of loot. Let your friend fly away. Let your friend land. Let your friend refuel. And then you guys plan ahead, okay? But just to get the planes, don't risk a lot, guys. Don't risk a lot. You can... Except for the fact that you can die by the megs if you make a mistake. You can die by crashing the plane if you make a mistake as well, okay? Don't put any loot inside the plane that you don't want to lose, you know? And don't have any loot on you that you don't want to lose. So let's get to the exciting stuff now. So for every, any, every one of you that listened to me at the beginning, get ready to be blown away by how creative you can get with the plane. And thank you for sticking around up until now. 
Let's go. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Now I'm going to show you guys how the plane helps you a ton. Um, Blue's going to show you how because Blue's quite good with the plane at the moment. He's been flying for a while on Survival Evolved. So there's, there's throttle control that helps you a heck of a lot with surveillance and shooting people on the ground. And then um, we're going to show you now how you can drop a person off on top of a cargo drop, a friend. Okay, if you don't want to risk the plane at all, but you want to get to a cargo drop before anyone else. Like, you can't compete with someone that is at the cargo drop, but I mean, you know, normally people have to drive to the cargo drop. So if there's certain clans on the cargo drop that you know goes for every cargo drop, and you just want to be there before them to give you the advantage, okay? Then a plane has got a great use. Holy my... Ooh. Um, okay, Blue, let's get a screenshot of that. I missed that. Fly through it again. No, just over the parachute. There we go. Boom. Sorry, guys. Just want to get a few screenshots here. Let's get the smoke. Okay, throw, fly through the smoke. Okay, it's fine. Fine. Okay, guys, so when you fly the plane, as you guys saw in my first plane guide, when you fly, you will climb out of the plane slowly, get onto the wing, and then jump like a skydiver. The problem is when you're not the pilot, you're not going to jump like a skydiver, okay? And you cannot wear a backpack when you've got the parachute. So you have to wear clothing that gives you a heck of a lot of slots, and you must keep your primary slot open. Okay, your primary slot to pick up a weapon. So Blue's just going to get some height so that I don't kill myself. And now I'm going to jump out as soon as it's over it. There. I just fall, guys. I just fall. Okay? And that is how you get to the, the drop first. And you've got basic defense in case there's puppets here or something. Okay. And then you can loot the cargo drop. And then he can come and pick you up if he wants to. Okay. Of course, you need bobby pins. and um, Okay, let's just spawn in the bobby pins so I can show you how we carry everything in a drop. In a usual drop okay so it just go um lock improvised lock pick i think i need six of them is that yeah that's that and then i need um sorry guys those just press the wrong button there and then i need two screwdrivers two small screwdrivers there we go. Okay, so this is all you need. You can fit that. You can fit all of this in here quite easily. Okay, if you want to be neat and tidy. I haven't got any thievery skill, but I don't think that's going to matter. So you're just going to lockpick it really, really quickly. Let's see if I can carry everything. This is a random drop, guys. I'm on the event server, okay, the drops are landing every two minutes, so that we just can just show you as soon as possible. But this is random, okay? So let's see if we can carry, how much we can carry without a hiking backpack. And of course, sometimes in a drop, you will get the hiking backpack kit, which will give you clothing and a hiking backpack, okay? And then, you, yeah, then it's sorted. But I mean, you're not going to get that kit a lot. So let's just see here. Can we... Can we take everything in this drop? Come on. Thank you very much. There we go. One. We can take that. No problem. 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 And we can definitely take that because I come with an empty pistol holster. Okay, so that the pistol 
doesn't take up enough it doesn't take up a lot but you're gonna get a holster in any case you don't even have to come with a holster okay you don't really have to come with a holster but the waste bag helps a bit as well and that's it and now when you're safe blue come when you're safe you tell your partner your friend there's there's no risk here okay where are you blue on my way okay so i'm gonna get in a safe spot i'm gonna communicate with blue blue on the left side there's a yellow road left of the drop there's a yellow road or you can just land here let's see if blue can show us he's uh if you've got a good flyer guys you won't have a problem okay but you can run away from the cargo drop far away and then your master pilot comes down That's not one of his best landing. He's landed way better than that. But now we go. Now we go. Oh, I didn't crash the plane, so it's not a terrible landing. Yeah, but what he normally does, guys, he lands and then he does a handbrake turn as soon as he lands. So he doesn't need a long path, okay? So now we're going to show you the second way, okay? So that is... I want to drop down. I don't want to risk the plane, okay? The second way is I don't want to drop down. I want my gear on me. I want my hiking backpack me on me. We want to get into a fight. We don't give a shit, okay? Then you do it like we're just going to go to what's the closest cargo drop. Okay, we're going to go to A3, son. Go to A3. We'll be back now, guys. We're just going to go to the A3 drop, and then we're going to show you your second option. Here we go, guys. We're going to try and fly through here. Oh, baby. Nice. Well done, son. Well done. That is not a lot of space, guys. There's not a lot of space there. And like you guys can see with the plane, the plane is so freaking fast. You can get to the drop way before it lands. So land, Blue. Land now. This is the second way, guys. I have my hiking backpack. He has his hiking backpack. We want to fight. Now we land before the cargo drop hits the floor. There's the road, Blue. There's the road. We'll just get a spot. Get a spot that you're comfortable with. I don't think we're going to get a spot here that you're comfortable with. Go to the road. Go to the open field here on your right. Just land on the open field behind the town. Alright, that's fine. He's gonna really try his luck now. Oh! oh! Okay. Okay, he still did his handbrake turn. And now we both climb out. We both climb out. Okay. And now we fight. Okay. Puppets are going to where the plane was. Now we fight. We've got balls of steel. We know how to get a plane out of a hangar, okay? We did it. We've done it five times on Survival Evolved in one day. We don't fear losing the plane. We just use the plane to get here as fast as possible, okay? So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, let's see if I can survive this. No, I can't. No, I can't. This is it. What the hell is Exploders doing here? <laughs> okay guys i hope you really enjoyed that if there's anything else that you need to know leave it down in the comments below okay and i hope this qualifies as the ultimate plane guide for scum um if you want to see more videos like this if you want to see and learn everything there is to see and learn about scum do yourself a favor and just click that subscribe button and that bell button and if you want to do me a favor and you like the video just click that thumbs up button below the video it will really help the channel hope you guys have an awesome weekend and see you guys next time cheers okay ladies and gentlemen let's try blue's trick so blue's trick is we don't need a parachute okay we want to keep our hiking backpack on but this is only for the bravest and the stupidest of stupid which me and blue definitely qualify under okay so he's gonna fly extremely low 
and then I'm going to try and climb out. Okay? Because I don't want a parachute. That's nice. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Are you dead? No, 100 health. 100 health. Okay. So that works, guys, but only for the dumbest of the dumb. Okay? Okay. I'm alive! Okay, let's try the other one, guys. Yeah. <laughs> That's the one thing about testing with this game, guys. You can have and the a, thing is a vine. You can have a ton of fun if you just experiment like I do every day. And luckily, Scum gives me more and more to experiment with. Now, this test is I want more than one person, more than two people on my plate. And yes, I can have more than two people on my plate. You can have a gun out now and shoot, okay? It's a bit glitchy. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely for the dumbest of the dumb, guys. That's <laughs> definitely for the dumbest of the dumb. You're not going to be really able to turn or anything, but you can. You can. If you can keep a straight line, you can have more than one person on a plane. We did We did try and stand on the plane on the back or on the on the wings. Your weight, the, the your weight of the character that's not in the plane does affect it. Like, if you stand on the back of the plane, the plane cannot level. The plane's just going to fly up in the air. Okay, so the weight of people standing on the plane has a major effect on it. Okay, um, which is quite cool. I won't say it's extremely realistic, but it's definitely really, really cool. And now, and now I'm just going to do one more thing and show you guys what Blue did there. I don't know if you guys realized, but Blue was flying only at 154 kilometers per hour. So the developer said that the main thing don't uh, the the developer said the main thing about the planes is for surveillance. But you can't do surveillance if you're flying 260 kilometers per hour and the vehicles are, can only drive up to a speed of 155 kilometers per hour, okay? So the best way to do surveillance is to drive just as fast as the fastest vehicle. Now, unfortunately, if the vehicles are slower, okay, then, then you can't help for it. But if the vehicles drive at... Uh, 100 you know, at 155 kilometers per hour you will see now that my top speed like i'm in the air now and uh, blue's at a cargo drop okay or blue's in this town and blue wants me to do some surveillance to make sure he's safe or we want to follow a clan and see where their base is any kind of surveillance okay so this is the speed of the plane okay now if you if you click backwards once okay you click backwards once you're changing gears watch my speed watch my speed now i'm gonna mouse scroll wheel one click back watch the speed now i'm gonna mouse scroll back once again So this, guys, is cruise control. Okay, this is cruise control. Now you can do surveillance. Okay? And then you can just click it forward once again. Okay, so you can control your speed in the air to do proper surveillance. Okay? So now we're traveling at about 130 kilometers per hour. Now we can do surveillance. Okay, so there's a car there on the road. Now we can now we can keep an eye on the cars. And as soon as, as, soon as they want to shoot us, we just increase power, go down to get as much speed as we can, okay, and then we get out of there. But of course you can fly extremely high, guys. Okay, you can fly extremely high. And then the last thing that I want to show you guys is this. One, two, three, 
two, three, boom. You put the gauges on. Not a big thing, just want to show you, you can press X, okay? Put the gauges on. And I just want to put this off, I don't like this option at all. I don't like the flight assist at all, okay? So let's end here with the proper landing. Okay, not, not, not some of the best, but at least we landed. And then of course the way that you, that you lift off as fast as possible. I'm just gonna get the speed going here and kill Blue with the propellers. Okay, not gonna kill him with the propellers. Okay, now I can't fly. Blue, get off the wing! Get off the wing! Okay. Go! I can't! No! <laughs> Oh my word! Wow, what's happening to me? <laughs> okay, so the fastest way to fly is all you do is you mouse scroll wheel as hard as you can all the way and you're holding S. Okay, as hard as you can and you're holding S. And then you can lift off really, really fast. Okay? If you guys have got any questions, leave it down below. And I really hope you enjoy it. I really hope you enjoyed this. See you guys later. Cheers.